pleasure to be speaking here today um, on the day of this wonderful festival. Um, I've always wanted to attend this festival and visit India, but now is of course the first time that I'm attending it in India, uh, just as this is the first time I'm visiting Bihar in India. <sighs> Oof. I am. I'm so sorry, as you can see, I'm not in a good condition today. So while I wished I could speak here for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, even 20 minutes, I cannot speak here for more than two or three because I'm not a good, in a good condition with my nose and I am heavily medicated. So I'm also kind of sleepy. But that will not stop me from saying that I think India is one of the most beautiful countries in the world and many of its religious and non-religious festivals just go to show that for an extra mile. Some of India's most beautiful festivals, especially ones like the Dwarga Puja, are ones that make my trips to India so great. Indian Independence Day is often the only festival that I'm able to attend. But when I'm able to attend others as well, whether they are festivals being held solely for me, or national festivals, or even local festivals, they have always been a time of shared joy between every single person that attends them, something that you don't get to see much in the Western world. And, and so I think whatever the motivation for a festival, whenever you can get an excuse to celebrate a festival, you should always celebrate it to the fullest of your ability because it unites every single person under a reason to celebrate and have joy for the next years to come. Thank you. Well,